All right, everybody, thanks. Um, yeah, this is uh, pretty much the uh, the first first video that um, I'm ever or I have ever uploaded to where I'm talking to you uh, directly. Um, this is going to be a Game of Thrones uh, song of ice and fire uh, kind of review theory prophecy crap that's been on my mind kind of thing um, <clears throat> there's there's a lot of people out there that uh, do videos like this and um, I look up to just about every single one of them and probably just about everything running around in my head is absolutely wrong like you know I, there's there's still two more books so I don't think anybody knows <clears throat> you know of, of course what's gonna happen um, so basically yeah I just I, I did want to talk about a couple things uh, some of the people that I'm subscribed to they kinda stick with certain things things that have been on their minds things that they want to talk about and I haven't really come across someone who shared is as much as as I did with um, the the Greyjoys or the the history of you know the Iron Islands and you know Pike and all that good stuff and I've just really been wanting to to talk about that or you know see somebody just kind of dedicate you know a uh, a couple videos to um, the Greyjoys and uh, me personally uh, I'm gonna stick mainly with Victorian. Um, he's in in my mind the the big bad boy of of all the Greyjoys. And if you're current in the books, you know that this guy he he really does mean business. He uh, he's kind of some people have called him just a complete buffoon, complete idiot. Uh, doesn't you know doesn't really comprehend things uh, the way that other people do. He's he's very black and white uh, with how he feels and how he rolls in the in the way that he does things. Um, you know, when so, somebody made a comment to him one time about, you know, the Dothraki Sea, and he was like, where is the sea? I'll sail it. You know, and it's like, it's not even really a sea. You know, but I mean, it's, it's stuff like that that people would consider him ignorant, you know, and there was even... Uh, in one of his chapters, uh, you know, in in his mind, it's like this is why Victorian was put here, you know, with a battle axe in his hand and not politics and all that good stuff. But uh, I think there's a lot of good things to come from Victorian. I don't, I think people jump the gun on him probably too quick uh, to to really say if he's an idiot or not, you know. Um, I think he's smarter than, you know, the things that you've been shown so far. Uh, Victorian is just like like I said in my mind, he's 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 the big guy, he's the bad boy. Um you know, Euron, he's kinda uh the crow's eye, he's very manipulative. Uh he's always you know, was he drinking the nightshade or whatever, so he's delirious you know constantly um the the fact that i think victorian is the cap you know captain of the iron fleet and he's you know kicking butt and taking names and he's losing ships on the way to marine and getting more you know, things of that nature um I think we're getting a little too bit into Victorian for for me right now uh, i did i i wanted to talk uh basically about where um you know the Iron Islands, where where they came from, uh, the Greyjoys or the the Ironborn. Um, they you know they they can trace back all the way to the first man, just like everybody else. You know, so there's there's nothing new there. Uh, when um, when the old gods, you know, kind of showed up with uh, I'd, I'd say the Andals. Um, when they showed up there, the the Ironborn or the Iron Islands, they just, they, 
they kept their their drowned god you know that's that they they have one god that that they pray to and dying at sea is is an honor like drowning you know like keep in mind to be ironborn you literally have to be drowned <laughs> you know on the in between the rocks you know <laughs> over there at pike and you know so they're they're not afraid to die they're they're not afraid to drown um their their god literally is a drowned god so basically um the, the ironborn they they only reeve and sack uh the you know part of their motto is you know uh, what is dead may never die of course i mean they like i said they get drowned you know um we we do not we do not sow we do not sow how, however you want to pronounce that um that that means that they everybody that more or less they've raped and pillaged like a like a bunch of damn pirates um you know they they make these people harvest you know food and and stuff like that i mean like they you know the ironborn on the iron islands i don't think they're gonna sit there and eat fish and crabs all day you know so um <clears throat> I think his name was King Heron, or yeah, when when Aegon flew flew over, uh, King Heron the Black ruled as far east as the Trident, and uh, the if you're if you're looking at Westeros, you know from a from a bird's eye view, the the Iron Islands are actually on the west side of of the continent, you know, not the right side. That the Iron Islands are not separating Westeros from you know the the free cities and and stuff like that uh so king heron ruled as far east as the trident um you know the the ironborn must be beaten you know they they will not you know they will not bend their knee or anything like that they will not surrender like you literally have to bash these guys in the head to, to get them to do something um fun fact uh king heron actually uh occupied heron hall when when it was burned uh i don't i don't think a, a whole lot of people knew that or um want to talk about this stuff which is why i'm i'm making a video and uh it's just everybody that i know personally i if i want to get into this um i literally have to do it with you guys and you know just watching other people do it too it just it, it really fires me up Pr pretty good <laughs> pretty good um uh, when uh when king heron um, was occupying Heron Hall. This is the same point in time where uh, Torrin Stark, King of the North, uh, was also known as the key or the the king who knelt, which I think everybody has, you know, heard about the the king who knelt. That that was actually a Stark, you know, up north. Let's see. All right, just uh, talking about <clears throat> the the Greyjoys in general. Cheers, mate. <clears throat> all right. Greyjoys, they can trace their family all the, all the way back to the Age of Heroes. We're talking about freaking Bran the Builder, you know, um, way back when, you know, Storm's End was, you know, brought down like eight different times, or I think the one that's standing now is actually the eighth Storm's End something like that but uh, and the first gray joy let's say was the gray king and you know they they were not they were on the iron islands at the time uh apparently this dude and i i guess this might could kick off why they're so hell-bent on on the sea you know as just like a uh you know kind of ongoing thing with with the ironborn all, all about the sea and uh, the the great king, he actually took a mermaid for a wife. Whatever. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how that works out. Or I really, I mean, she, she may be like hot from like here to to here, you know, like with her little clam shells and whatnot. But beyond that, I I don't see how anything else is getting done. But um, this guy actually uh, waged war with with the storm god, you know, and and the storm god is what pushes the ironborn to their enemies and you know the storm god is what brought you know new gods and you know new new people to fight you know f to try and take over the iron islands and i honestly if you know they they've they've kind of well we'll get into that later don't worry um so with uh 
when he waged war with the storm god, um, apparently he got a blessing from the drown god at that point in time. And uh, fun fact, we have another dragon in you know the the history and prophecies and, and theories of of dragons, which you know there's there's been a lot of talk about uh, the the ice dragons um, or maybe one ice dragon in particular. You know, you you have the three dragons with Daenerys right now, and uh, we have right here actually a sea dragon. Now, whether this guy has wings and can fly, or uh, did it breathe air, like we don't know. You know, like instead of fire, was it spitting just seawater at everybody? Like I, I have no idea. Um, but I I I think it's pretty c cool. Um, her name was Naga. You know, just. Um, and uh, the few uh, videos, or not videos, but uh, pictures, you know, that, that I've seen, you know, this thing was big. And um, in my head, with the help of the little drowned god, this guy got on a boat, <laughs> you know, um, Moby Dick style, like, and, and just went out and, and slew this giant, giant sea dragon, you know, and uh, where, where it landed... Um, I guess it's they they that's where they made uh, one of the sea stone chairs. Now the sea stone chair uh, currently in the world that that we're in or the timeline is of course Pike. It's at Pike. You know that's uh, you know I see like this chair being like a big kraken or something. You know with some arms off of it. You know let your imagination do it. Maybe just a little stupid wooden chair. You know, whatever. Sea stone. No, it's big. Alright, so um where where the sea dragon fell, or you know, they I, I don't think they'd be able to move it. And uh when when you have the king's moot, you know, over with Victorian, you know, and Euron and, and those other jokers that like came in to, you know, try to you know, petition for the throne or whatever to, to be the king of the Iron Islands. Uh, they they didn't hold that king's moot at uh, the Sea Stone Chair. Um, they they didn't hold it, you know, on on Pike at all. Uh, actually, I and I may be wrong, you know, but uh, my mind does really weird stuff with with this story, and I kind of go into some pretty weird places. But um, like what 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 I thought about was. All these guys are like hanging around literally in the rib cage of of Naga from where you know where she fell and uh, after her body fell they kind of built up around it you know put a sea stone chair and like that was you know where the great king like started ruling the Iron Islands and so in our timeline they're they're having the king's moot let's say like with you know seawater coming up their legs you know like because it's partially over time it's been taken by the sea it's very deteriorated you know but you're still in the rib cage of this giant sea dragon you know and uh just rubble everywhere you know it's raining it's dark you know and all kinds of stuff and you know like i said these these ironborn guys like they're uh they're they're pretty serious you know that's uh i I think that's just really cool about that little, you know, pretty picture that they uh, they painted. Um, you know, there was a, a, another thing here. Um, you know, Vicon was the first, let's say, more or less, person with the last name of Greyjoy that actually sat, you know, on the sea stone chair. And the Greyjoys, you know, since then have you know, ruled for, let's say, about 300 years. Um, you know, the, the, the cool thing about the Ironborn is, um, you know, Balon just oh so nonchalantly just was on a frickin' bridge, you know, like Davy Jones style, going from, you know, one island to the other, and dude just fell off, you know, so, which is why we're having the King's Moo. Um, yeah, spoiler, sorry. So, uh, the the ironborn they they promote with kind of within their own ranks let and let's say like oh you're more qualified for this like not even giving a crap about where necessarily their 
family came from you know it's just like everybody wants a strong leader you know it's it's just like the wildlings um how Mance Raider was able to you know surpass everybody and more or less become the king you know in, in torment you know giant spain he even commented you know on how he's got <laughs> you know he's uh larger than Mance, you know in, in certain aspects and um you know he was a better fighter than Mance and and all this good stuff you know but uh Mance was just such a solid guy all around you know which is why he was able to or everybody was on board with following him and so that's uh more or less how Vicon Greyjoy got you know promoted and Ironborn have been there or uh the the Greyjoys have you know been ruling ever since um you know, uh, fun fact, uh, there's a lot of people out there that, um, uh, their, their favorite character is Stannis, Stannis the Manus, and, uh, I guess, I guess that's okay, um, Stannis the Manus, yeah, when, uh, when the Targaryens died, you know, um, Balon, he, he rose up the, the Iron Fleet and, uh, he attacked, you know, uh, the Lannisters at, at Lannisport, and, um, they got their butts kicked. I mean, bad. Like, I don't know how this, um, group of, of people, the Ironborn, all about the sea, they're, they're all about, you know, war, and, you know, it's, it's kind of like, you know, you're on an island, so I figured that your fleet, or like, your ship fleet would, would just be absolutely astronomical, and I guess, you know, where we are in the story, it's taken about 17 years or something like that for, you know, their forces to, to build back up. Um, but yeah, Stannis just went over there and just, I mean, just kicked their butt, you know, so uh, I'm not sure, you know, how Victorian survived. I want to talk about Victorian. Um, he, I, I, I love this dude. He's, you know, he's big, he's mean, he's mad, he, you know, all, all kinds of stuff. He's got this big axe, you know. Um, what, what I see in my head when when i read about victorian and what he looked like he had a he had a kraken mask okay um a kraken mask yeah it's just like kind of uh <sighs> man, i'm i'm getting all worked up just just thinking about it like um cuz there's probably a couple of y'all who saw him the the way that i did and i i got a couple pictures for you um of just kind of fan art you know, and, uh, and stuff like that, so, um, I think, I think I might end it there, uh, just, just for this one, um, this, this is gonna be your, um, your half-ass put-together video of, you know, the, the Greyjoys and, um, you know, their kind of history, uh, I, I know it's not, you know, 100% everything that happened, but, um, you know, with, with a lot of these, uh, stories, you know, in, in these books, <clears throat> you're talking about two people that are on a different continent having a casual conversation over, you know, some, some hotcakes or whatever, talking about something that's happening way over there, and you, you literally just kind of skip over it, so, um, you just gotta let your imagination kind of do most of the work. Uh, you know, I, I know there's a lot of fact checkers out there. I mean, like, let's let's do this. Let's let's get it better. Like, help me out. Help me help you. You know, like I wanna I wanna talk about it, guys. Like I I really do. So um, let's uh let's keep it on the Greyjoys, um and or anything that that has to do with the Iron Islands, um, if you want to talk about it, so I can gain a little steam, maybe for, uh, the, the next video, um, thanks for bearing with me, guys, um, this was, uh, it was pretty fun, uh, I, I have been, you know, working on this for, for a while, and, uh, finally got, you know, some, um, some good stuff put together, it's kind of a, a starter kit for me, so, um, thanks, guys, uh, like, please subscribe,